fam, the purple lights are behind me, which can only mean one thing. We are back for another week here on the show. Now, as you well know, we've made it our duty to deliver to you the most exciting content creators from all over the world. And you know the other good part of that? We always bring it to you live right here on YouTube, and you're welcome. I am still your host, Dan Stagliano. Now, on the show, we pride ourselves in bringing you some of the top talent from all walks of life. So, which is why today you're going to find me all kinds of excited, just for a change, because for the first time in our very young history, we have managed to snag ourselves, almost like a fisherman catching a fish, our very first special effects makeup artist, otherwise known in layman's terms as a magician with a makeup brush. Okay, I might have just made that up. What am I talking about? Take a look at this. Check it out. That could be Pamela Anderson, or no, it could be one of the Jenners, but you can't tell. We have some special effects there. We got some animals. We got some brutal, beastly looking. That's uh, that's Hellboy. We have a cat looking face. Sphinx, I should say Sphinx. Take a look at this. Now, this could all just be considered, well, I mean, that's just CGI computer generated, you would think. But guess what? You'd be wrong. Oh, there he is, Fat Bastard, the Scotsman. Oh, was that a good Scottish accent? Did you like my Scottish accent? Listen, I know you have a lot of questions about that, as do I. That was just a little taste of what we got coming. So if you do have them, drop them in the comments below. You know the drill. All right, enough, enough. It's Sunday. I've teased you enough. All right, let's meet the face, the pretty face behind the hands that make the faces. Say that could be five times, won't you? Welcome to the show, Shelby Smith. Shelby! How are you, darling? How are you? Listen, babe. Oh, mate, we are living the dream. Only because you've joined us on the show, you decided to give us a bit of time, which we're thankful for. Now, can I ask you, what are we saying when I say special effects makeup? Because when I hear special effects, I go straight to movies. I'm thinking CGI, green screen. But what we just saw on uh, in those photos there didn't quite look like that. So, what is your special effects makeup? Special effects makeup, we pretty much, we do makeup. Um, but we make realistic wounds and dead bodies and old age and creatures and like everything you see from like characters in a Star Trek movie to like a dead body on CSI or an old age person. It goes to all different degrees. I've always wanted to be a dead body on CSI. We'll talk about that <laughs> later. Can you, you said you can say you can make people old. Can you make people young you, again? The boss keeps telling me can. I need to stand further back from the camera because he sees my wrinkles. You make me young you again? You can. Oh, <laughs> Let's talk about that later. We've got a lot to talk about later. But for right now, right now, here's what I want to know to start with, Shelby. How old were you when you got into this form of art? Um, well, I've always been around it because my grandma is a makeup artist in film. So when I was like really little and I used to go to her house, she would put like fake wounds on me and then my mom would come and pick me up. And she'd be like, look what happened to Shelby. <laughs> like, and my mom would freak out until like she did it so many times that my mom just knew it was fake. Um, but I actually thought I wanted to be a physical therapist. I went to school, took biology and kinesiology and all that. Um, but turns out I wanted to be a makeup artist. So kind of tied into it because I had to learn all the medical stuff to make it real. Um, but I started it about like three, three and a half years ago. Wow, you've come a long way in three and three and a half years. Lady is flying. Now, um, so I'm going to let a little cat out of the bag here, but I'm not going to say too much because I'm going to leave it to you. Uh, little Birdie told us, we're, we're very good at producing shows on, on the show. Little Birdie told us you might be up for a certain award that's getting um, awarded very soon. Can you tell us about that or are you not allowed to say anything? No, I can. Um, next. Let's see, what is next Saturday, um, it is the Local 706, which is the Makeup and Hair Union, is having their Guild Awards. Um, so I'm lucky enough to be nominated with my special effects mentor who taught me everything um, for best makeup in a music video category. Oh, congratulations, Shelves. Um, Here's what I'm going to do. Whenever I do this, this is my little kid. I'm really trying really hard face. 
I'm really <laughs> wishing really hard that by next Saturday you win the award. <sighs> Alrighty, I sent it all out. I sent it all out into the universe. Whose music video is it? Can I ask you that, or is that a secret? No, it's out. It's been out. Uh, the weekend. It's in his in your eyes music video. We made the head when his oh. head gets completely chopped off. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah. did you make his head a little a little more beautiful, a little easier to look at? No, I didn't say that. That was a joke. He's a beautiful man. I love The weekend. I've met him. Great bloke. Great bloke, The weekend. Um, mm -hmm. Chelps, I, I want to jump into a question. So I, I see as part of, okay. and, and you mentioned as part of your special effects you've created, yeah, zombies, dead bodies. Um, so when you're going to transform someone into a creature such as that, um, how do you prep for that? Like what kind of research goes into it? Do, do you do tests? Do you jump right into it? And... and what type of creature takes the most time and why? Lots of questions in there for you. Um, well, it all starts off with you most likely if it's gonna do with something with the face and all that, we do a life cast, um, which is when we take um, a mold of their entire head and face uh, so that we can sculpt on it so it matches exactly them um, and it fits them perfectly instead of just being a generic piece. Um, and then we sculpt to create what we want to create. If it's something like an um, injury or something of that sort or something that already exists, then we'll research it. Like I actually talked about it yesterday with my parents. I was like, thank God my mind just sees like real injuries is makeup because my mentor will be like, here, we need to do this. And I'll hold, like give me pictures and it's like a blown off hand or like, holes all up in someone and it's all real images we have to take it from and I'm like thank god I see it as makeup um but I would say the one that takes the most time the hardest one in my opinion is old age just because it's so it has looked so realistic it can easily look fake um so I would say that's the hardest one in my opinion old age okay so you got to make the wrinkles obviously discolorations and stuff like that does that mean um we can find you hanging out at retirement homes because that's a little creepy i mean unless they invite no. you of course no that's not part yeah. of the research i was just checking no the fans would have wanted me to ask that um no so here's, here's my next question for you. We, we've spoken to actors and producers of the show um, and they've explained, you know, the effect in the industry on them over the past 12 months, obviously given, you know, pandemic and stuff like that. But here's what I'm interested in. From your point of view, from your specific job, how has the pandemic affected makeup artists, you in particular, um, and, and your role? Um, I would say it makes it a lot harder in the sense of everything we have to wear in terms of PPE. Um, so wearing the 95 and a face shield and a plastic or paper apron and gloves, like all that one, it's hard to work in just because it's hard to breathe. But on the other hand, seeing something, if you have like a plastic shield on, for us, we're like so close sometimes. And so it's really hard because you either get a glare or you like breathe and it fogs it up. But it also there's like no depth perception there. So it's really hard um, in terms of that area. Um, so I would say that is definitely the hardest and you can't have as many people on set um, or you have to stand far away from the monitor. So things like that, I would say are the hardest. Hold on a second. So, and I've worked with makeup artists before, but you have to do makeup with the shield on, the mask on, the gloves on. How do you hold a brush and finesse old man lines if you've got gloves on? I mean, is that a muscle memory thing? Is that how you work it then? It's hard. I mean, the gloves, I thankfully didn't have to wear very much, um, but more of the shield is the hardest because just seeing through like a plastic film is really, it's really difficult. And then it fogs up too and you're sitting there saying, hold on a second, let me not. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm, yeah. go I'm, I'm going the right way yeah. there. Oh, wow. Yeah. I tell you, I would never have even thought about that as a makeup artist. That's that's better you than me. That's why I couldn't be a makeup artist. Now, speaking of which, to weed out the week, what would you say is the most challenging aspect of your job? For anyone who's sitting there going, I can do that. I can stick a bit of this on here. I can do that. You want to see a cut here? Let me show you a cut. You know what? Um, Screen actors makeup, is that harder because the camera zooms in and it's so close so everything has to be perfect? 
I mean, what are the differences between special effects and, and, and other types of makeup that I guess you're involved in or responsible for? Um, I would say, I mean, they're hand in hand in kind of the same way of you. It has to be perfect on the monitor um, because those cameras pick up everything, especially with like HD. Um, but in like, you have to go in and touch them up, stuff like that. Um, I would say they're actually pretty similar in my opinion, just more, I would say it's right. It's harder to touch up special effects um, because once something's glued on, you can't like, oh, let me peel it off and re-glue it on again. It's more like making sure it looks really good the whole time because the longer the actor wears it, the more the glue loosens up. So if it's hot out, they've been in it for hours, it's gonna start peeling off. So that's definitely like harder to deal with than just like powdering someone. Gotcha. I There is just so much you have to deal with as a makeup artist. I didn't even think I for know. a second. The heat, you're right. So prosthetics start coming off or peeling off. What do you do then? You can't just redo it. So you see an actor mm -mm. in one scene, it's all looking good. And in the next scene, half their face is falling off. Especially when they sweat Joy. and it like loosens up and then the sweat gets trapped in like bubbles underneath, like that layer between the prosthetic and your skin. So you have to like lightly poke a little hole so it can like drain out. It's not as like, oh, luxurious yes. as you get it. Because <laughs> I was going to say, I'm sitting, I'm sitting back here thinking you're sitting in your chair, you know, the director's chair, you got your name on the back, your big cool sunglasses on, and you're like, I got this, come here, get a little closer, I got this. It doesn't yeah, sound like no. that at all. No. All right, well, you make it look good. Shabs, your website, you make it look good. Um, here's something for you. So you mentioned the weekend before. We want to get into the juicy bits here. Let's start name dropping, lady. Whose makeup have you worked on? What kind of projects are you working on with said people? Um, people I've done in the past. Um, I've helped with The weekend. Um, I've done make special effects for Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner. Um, I've done makeup on Evan Peters. Um, I'm glad I'm trying to think of <laughs> so many. Um, and then I assist a lot too. So assisting with people who work around a lot of celebrities is really nice because I learn a lot from them. That sounds like so much fun. And one of the pictures that we put when we put your website up before, I uh, said it looks like Pamela Anderson was one of the, uh, it was Kendall Jenner, wasn't it? For her birthday, you recreated her. She wanted to look like uh, old school Pam Anderson, which was yeah, spot so on. Yes, I, I remember that look. Like dark, eyes, dark, like dark, perfect eyebrows, Kendall, but we had to cover them up because uh, Pamela had like really thin brows and she's also blonde. Um, so there I it is on screen now. Yeah, I put prosthetics over her eyebrows, so completely got rid of Kendall's, and then they drew on new eyebrows to match Pamela. That is so, she looked exactly like Pamela, man. <laughs> well, that is so crazy how you did that. Is, was that a big job? Did that take a long time to do? Is that something you would consider to be a, a, an easier task in terms of your work? That's that's an easier task. Um, I wanted it to be perfect because she did go out in person, so you want to hide it as much as you can. Um, but it took 20 minutes total, 25. That, that's it? Just 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Let me just change somebody the way they look in 20 minutes. All righty, Shelves. <laughs> tough question. Now, we got, we're coming up to our last two questions here. Here's the first one of the last two. Makes no sense at all, I know. What has been the most satisfying project you've worked on and why? We've heard about some of the cool projects you've worked on. Is it one of those or is it something you haven't told us about yet? Um, no, I would say, I'm trying to think. One of the most satisfying ones I worked on was actually for just this, this book series. Um, they made, they wanted a book trailer. Um, so I was by myself and I had I think 15 to 16 different character looks um, that I had to do by myself. I was the only one in the makeup department, but full special effects like Ice Queen, a girl that's been um, a stat bronze statue under the water corroding for like 34 years and like a vampire. And then people like beat up, cut up, like everything like that. That one was rewarding because I did it all by myself. It was really hard, but definitely rewarding was was that just quickly shelves was that 15 to 16 characters was that a one day job or was that over a week or something it was like five days wow 
<laughs> That's a long week of work. All righty. This yeah. is what I call my genie question. All righty. Genie is in rub the magic lamp genie sort of thing. And and you'll you'll see why. If you got one wish in terms of work only, Shelby Smith, the pressure's on. What is your dream job and go? Oh gosh. <laughs> I would say my dream job would to be to work on anything that Ryan Murphy has created because I love all his shows. I love it for special effects reasons. I love it because I love all I like his dark mind with a lot of stuff. Um, but I would say anything Ryan Murphy created. And you did in fact work on American Horror Story. You mentioned Evan Peters before. Was that was that for American no. Horror Story? No, oh. I helped them. I did this makeup for a movie, but that wasn't American Horror Story, unfortunately. Alrighty. Well, in case you didn't know, uh, you, you probably should know. They watch the show. They love the show. Uh, we do it for all, I guess. We'll get on the phone. We'll talk to him. Hey, Murph. Murph. This is your next makeup artist right here, Murph. You're listening to me? We'll talk, Murph. We'll talk <laughs> later, buddy. Alrighty. Jobs. This is the part. This is the part of the show where we get a little loose, a little fun. Alrighty. Now this is our game time. This is how we always finish off the show. Now the, today's game is very thematic for you. All right, so get comfortable in your chair. We've called it lipstick or Bieber, as in Justin Bieber, right? Because and, and, and a big throw, big shout out to Bieber because he just launched his. Uh, he had his birthday, I believe, just uh, last week, and he launched his new album. So congratulations, Biebs. Hey, Biebs, we'll talk later as well about that too. But. And, and on top of that, because we talked about music videos, I almost forgot this key minor yet major detail. He just dropped a music video, didn't he? Well, great job, Beeps. Looked good too, by the way. Man, that man can sing. He's a bit of a talent. Bit of a talent. All righty. Now, this game, Shelves, has carefully been chosen to be fun yet difficult. So some of these, I'm going to give you an example. Some of them are shades of lipstick, right? That can be okay. found under the Revlon Cosmetics line. Revlon Cosmetics. Oh. Did you hear that? Revlon, Revlon, uh, not a sponsor, but they could be. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, and some of these are titles of the Bieber's songs. All righty. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You're going to tell me, is it a Revlon or is it a Bieber song? Okay. You good? Okay. Are you nervous? You feeling yeah. good? You look like you're sweating a little. Do you need to powder your own I, forehead just a little? Oh you I, I, I am. <laughs> okay. Number one, Shelves. Here we go. Bear it all. Bear it all. Is it Revlon or is it Bieber? Revlon. You're saying Revlon. All righty. So, I, I, I mean, you know that you're playing with and against me, kind of. So, I'm pretty good at this game, Shelves. Um, and the boss, Joe Sebring, hasn't told me what the answers are, so I have no idea how good or bad I'm going to go with this. Okay. You're saying Revlon. Bear it all. Mm -hmm. I feel like Bieber gets a lot of clothes off, so I'm... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go Bieber on this one. Okay. It's a lipstick. <laughs> okay, I'm just warming up. I'm warming up. There it is. Just a little stretch. That's all. Alrighty. Number two is forever. Is forever Bieber or is it a Revlon? It's Bieber. Oh, going Bieber on that one. I'll go Bieber on that one too. He's a bit of a love song guy. Yes. Oh, you're flying. Mm -hmm. All righty. This, this sounds like me on a fun Saturday night out. Nude Fury. Is it oh, Bieber? That's on the one. <laughs> that's a lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a lipstick. I'm going Revlon on that one. Nude Fury. Come on, mm -hmm. lipstick. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lipstick. All right, I'm warming up. We're warming up here. Actually, I think you've got them all right so far, Shelves. Toast of New York. Pretend I'm holding a, a glass of some fancy Red champagne Revlon. Revlon. Toast of New Oh, yeah. Revlon in New York, Grant. I'm going to go with you on that one. I'm going to go Toast of New York. Lipstick. Yes! Uh, all righty. We're, we, we are rolling through this, Shelves. Are you ready? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. I might get described as this. That's your clue. Ready? Yummy. Yummy, Shelby. Yummy. Bieber Revlon Bieber. And don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like that's a Bieber. I'm going Bieber. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, this one could be Grease. I got chills. 
I've got chills, Shelves. They're, they're not multiplying, but mm. I've got chills. <laughs> Eva? Ooh. I want to oh, go with lipstick. I don't know. I'm going to go with lipstick. I'm not confident. I've got chills. I'm confident on this one. Hundred percent. This is Bieber. Watch, watch, Bieber. <laughs> and it's lipstick. Okay, <laughs> that that that'll learn me for being confident. All righty, last couple of shelves. Last couple. I think you're streaking ahead of me. Um, this one's called Lovesick. Is Lovesick a lipstick, or is Lovesick a Bieber? Mm, I feel like it's like a Bieber song. I like don't really know. So I'm gonna go with that. You're gonna go with Bieber. I'm going with Bieber because, uh, man, he's always he's always singing to his wife, his girls. Historically, mm -hmm. I'm going Bieber too. Mm -hmm. Bieber he always seems lovesick. That guy. We was, were what? Wrong. This is what happens when I follow your lead, Shelby. You lead me astray, and for that, okay. I'm unapologetic. <laughs> How well did that one roll into the next one? Bieber, unapologetic is it? That's a Bieber. Bieber. I feel like that's a rebel. Yeah. I feel like that's a strong woman walking down Fifth Avenue in New York just going, I don't think be. so. It <laughs> it's a lipstick. Yes. Wow. I know my lipsticks. Yes. All right. All righty, Shelves. Here we go. Last one. Last one. No pressure. Last one. Okay. Love me. Love me, Shelby. Love me. Bieber. Revlon. Bieber. You going Bieber? Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm go with. Either. I'm gonna go with Revlon. I'm going with Revlon. Oh, okay. It's a Bieber. Yes. I don't really want to count the score to that, Shelby, because I feel like you pants me on that. Maybe ten three. Yeah. I think maybe I got three right, Shelby. Great game. You know your lipsticks. You know your Bieber. Have you worked oh, on Bieber by the way? Have you ever worked on Bieber? Uh, no, but I've been around Haley, and she's super nice. Well. <gasps> Haley Baldwin, she she looks lovely, and I'm sure she she wears Revlon makeup. I probably can't say that. She probably got a brand thing. I didn't say that. Shelby said it. Team, there it is. That is it for the most fun part of our show. Jeez, it can be stressful at times. I was getting a little sweaty in here. That was our game of the week: lipstick or Bieber. The game with our makeup artist extraordinaire, the one and only Shelby Smith. Shelby, thank you so much for joining us today. It was so good getting to know you and even more fun learning about all the magic behind the scenes to make all the people in front of the camera just look amazing, gorgeous, or gory, depending on what they ask you to do. Now, team at home, to keep up with everything that Shelby Smith is doing, you know what to do. Just peek below, down in the information section there. She's going to have all her details. The website is shelbysmithmakeup.com shelbysmithmakeup.com there is a picture of the weekend and his better looking head that shelby made up shelves <laughs> before we let you wander off can you let us know is it a secret can you let us know what's coming up next for you any big gigs any body parts uh, oh i've been making prosthetics for a tv show um <gasps> that's the one i can't say <laughs> Oh, just sprinkle a little bit of uh, a little bit of goodness our way. I love it. I love it. And that TV show's on currently, or is it about to come out? Can you tell us that? No, it's on. It's on. Ooh, it's on. nice. Mm -hmm. So, also, um, I want to say one more time: is it April the third? April the seventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. April the third. I have uh -huh. a memory like a steel trap. If only I was that good with school exams. April the third. <laughs> we find out. You find out if you have won the uh, Makeup Artist of the Year award for um, for film uh, for music video. Mm -hmm. Can you please update us? Let us know because we would love to blast it here that the best makeup artist in the history of the world on music videos was right here on this show with us. Okay. Yeah, so excited! I'm crossing my fingers. I'm crossing my fingers as well as getting all excited like I was before that you're going to win this for us, Shelves. You're going to win it for us. And mention the show when you walk up on stage. Mention the show. I will. This is, I'm, I'm so happy with my award and thank you to the show for promoting that. That's probably what got you over yeah. the line in the end. I'm yeah. An idiot. As ever, thank you at home for joining us for a show for another awesome episode. I hope you had as much fun as we did, as we always do. Please remember, if you have an artist or content creator that you're following, drop their names down below in the comments with any questions you're dying to have them answer because we will get them on here. We will get them answering it for you. Like this one. 
Shelby, can you do anything for my face? Is there anything that can be done? Hit me. Just be honest. No. I Nothing. That was be the answer. I just had to ask. I just had to ask. I had to ask. Shelby, thank you for joining it's us again. You've been an absolute sport. <laughs> Do not forget to like and subscribe the show. Remember, we are live, so turn on your notifications by hitting the bell icon. Bam, there it is, so you do not miss an episode. Until next time, do not forget, have fun and stay beautiful like a makeup artist has been doing your face. We will see you soon.